Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, whatever time this video finds you. It's your boy Jay, and next week we kind of got a soft confirmation that we're going to get a new Monster Hunter Wilds trailer, okay? So, about two hours ago, Capcom posted up on their main Twitter account, the Monster Hunter Wilds dev team will debut the world's first Scarlet Forest gameplay live from TGS 2024. Join the Monster Hunter community team for a watch party on September 27th, 9 p.m. Pacific time, slash, same time, September 28th, 5 a.m. BST, okay? Now, what's interesting about this in particular is like, yes, it's the first time we get to see, you know, live Scarlet Forest gameplay, which is going to be amazing, but I am going to speculate that this is going to come with... A trailer that comes before it because Capcom's event at TGS which is short for Tokyo Game Show uh, is actually September 26th uh, from at 9 a.m. I don't know how long it is but Capcom has a spot at Tokyo Game Show and you know they're gonna show probably a bunch of titles you know think Street Fighter 6 uh, Monster Hunter Wilds is gonna get probably a new trailer that shows off more monsters that could be in the Scarlet Forest, plus maybe even more, a, a, a more in-depth look at La La Barina, um, and, and other stuff like that, right? Like, it's, this is not just limited to Monster Hunter stuff when it comes to Capcom's presence at Tokyo Game Show, but, uh, you know, it, it's probably gonna heavily feature, you know, Monster Hunter Wilds, because I remember last year, at this time, I made a video talking about how there was no quote unquote Monster Hunter 6 at Tokyo Game Show, right? But hey, we know now that Monster Hunter 6 is called Monster Hunter Wilds, but you get the idea, right? It's gonna be there. It's probably gonna come with another trailer. It's gonna showcase a couple monsters. And, um, you know, and then the next day, which is what the tweet is talking about, they're gonna show live gameplay of the Scarlet Forest, right? It's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna cover it best I can so definitely subscribe down below if you are a fan of Monster Hunter and you know you want to hear coverage on Monster Hunter Wilds as it comes out okay now let's move on to what I want to see out of a speculative trailer and or gameplay okay I think thus far we've had it really good I mean we're talking about a game that doesn't have a release date yet but we've seen so much gameplay from it right i mean uh capcom and the boys that you know they, they've been doing basically a world tour right ever since gamescom they were at like what pax west um there's been uh, numerous events where they show the hunters hunting you know a lot of the monsters that have been uh revealed so far with chatacabra uh, balahara ray dao and doshaguma right all brand new monsters in the first locale that they showed the windward plains great i'm loving it there's so much gameplay out there for you to see it's great for a game that we don't even know when is going to be released it's crazy that this game has no release date yet but i think it's super curious that we've yet to see any familiar faces with the exception of Rathalos, right? We saw Rathalos in the very first reveal trailer. That's kind of how they told us that, hey, this trailer that you're looking at, because it, did, it didn't look like Monster Hunter at first, right? It's like, hey, what, what is this game? What is this game? And then we saw the, the Rathalos flying in at the end. And we're like, oh, it's Monster Hunter. Yeah, let's go, baby. So we know Rathalos is in the game along with Rathian. They're in every they're in every single game, okay? Rathalos and Rathian are the only monsters that can never skip a Monster Hunter game, period, full stop. But, but, but Diablos has skipped base generations and base Monster Hunter 4. So, anyway, enough of that. Um, <laughs> we know they're in the game, and I think it's curious that we have all this gameplay, but we haven't seen them yet, right? Uh, it could have been, you know, super interesting where on the Windward Plains in the current demo build that we have, maybe there's a low percent chance for a Rathalos to spawn in. Because we know he spawns in at the Windward Plains. We saw it in the first trailer. That way we can compare it to the Rathaloses we have of old, right? It's going to be more like a Monster Hunter World Rathalos where it flies a little bit higher, shoots fireballs from far away, a monster that maybe you want to bring an insect glaive to so that you can, you know, fly with the king of the skies, you feel me? Or are we going to get more of a Rise Rathalos type situation where, yes, he's flying just as often as he used to, but his flight is a little bit lower and he tends to land after certain attacks 
and gives you, you know, openings that way you can attack him and there's a bit more interactive than what the usual Rathalos fight is. You know, just what version of Rathalos are we going to get? It? Or is it going to be some new version of Rathalos that maybe the behaviors are just so different where it's like, damn, Wilds is going to really make monsters feel so different than they have before because all the monsters thus far that we've been able to see in depth all the brand new monsters, right? Doshaguma, Balahara, Chatakabra, Ray Dao, all brand new monsters. There's nothing from a previous monster under game for us to compare it to. However, we know Rathalos is in the game. What if Rathalos shows up and he behaves completely different from what we've seen before, right? Maybe they show off um, Kangalala, right? Because there's been some speculation with the Dual Blaze trailer like, hey, that's Kangalala armor. And Scarlet Forest seems like a good place for a Kangalala to be. I'd love it if they showed off like, hey, Kangalala's back, Rathalos is back. I'd really like it if this trailer maybe focused on, hey, here's some familiar faces and maybe here's the flagship, here's the release date. In a perfect world, that's what we get. Flagship, release date, a couple familiar faces and maybe one new monster. That seems like a lot. It does seem like a lot at first, but this is like a... a from what I understand, it's gonna be a long gameplay stream, so it's possible that we get all of those things, right? A familiar face or two, a new monster, and a release date, and then more showing of the Scarlet Forest. And probably they're gonna go over the um, inclemency period for the Scarlet Forest as well, because we don't know that. We just know that the Scarlet Forest exists. We don't know if it's going to be torrential rain. We don't know if the forest gets more red. We don't know what the plenty period looks like for the Scarlet Forest. So there's a lot of directions they can take this. And uh, I'm going to turn the question on you, dear viewer. What do you want to see next week from the hypothetical <laughs> new trailer that we're going to get and the confirmed new gameplay live stream that we're going to get? This is where you guys, the real content of the video, get to shine. Comment down below. I'll do my best to reply to each and every comment that hits this video. And uh, yeah, that's about it for today's video, man. Just a short one. Want to talk about like, hey, expect some new info next week. I'm going to cover it. Subscribe down below if you're a fan of Monster Hunter. And as always, people, happy, happy hunting. Peace.